Wait, am I bleeding? Great, 30 seconds into YouTube and chill and I'm already bleeding. What? Oh, I already did that, Never mind. Today's video is called, Can He Fix It? Can He Fix It? Okay, so the title is Work in Progress. However, I do have limited experience with electronics and electronics repair. Oftentimes I'm buying things off of eBay, either used or broken in order to fix them up. And I do this to save money. And if your memory is as bad as mine, then you might have forgotten that I did a Mod Monday episode on this where I bought a used Xbox One controller, refurbished it, and then gave it away. If you still don't remember, you can watch that episode by clicking on the card in the upper right corner. So imagine my surprise when I check the garbage room of the apartment complex to discover this Wii just sitting there in a bag. And not only sitting in a bag, but it comes with games. Got Mario Kart Wii, and it came with the Wii wheel. It came with the wheel as well. And Star Wars, the complete saga. And they were just sitting there, and it came with all of the cords and the sensor bar, uh, the video connector, everything was there, and it was ready to go. Of course, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna grab it, I'm gonna plug it in, and see if it works, and it turns on. Here's the problem. I quickly realized why this Wii was sitting in the trash to begin with. It doesn't play discs. In fact, anytime you try to insert a game, it says no CD, please shut it off and contact customer service. So while most people would mope around and say, well, at least I tried, throw it back into the dumpster, I said, challenge accepted. So here we are, I'm fixing this Wii that I found in the garbage and seeing if we can get it up and running. Free Wii, gosh, I sound French when I say that. Free Wii, free Wii Wii, <laughs> And I just lost half my French audience. <laughs> So join me as I take this Wii console apart and try to get it running again. All right, so we've got our Wii system here. We're gonna need two sets of screwdrivers. We're gonna need a precision screwdriver set, such as this one, and a tri-wing tip. Ah, there is the tri-wing tip. So you're gonna need those two in order to open up the system. Uh, tri-wings are a little bit hard to come by, so check the link in the video description. We're gonna start by taking some of the casing off. Um, these are real easy on top here. You just kind of open them up and pull them right out. They should pop out really easily. Uh, if you've worked with a Wii before, you know you've got your GameCube controller ports here and your memory card but you'll also notice that there are three screws on top so we're gonna go ahead and remove those you might want to have like a little bowl or something I have a magnetic one that is uh, full of all kinds of crap you've got like USB connectors and you've got like miscellaneous screws for some reason there's even like water cooling seals in here don't ask me why I don't know we're gonna flip this over and on top, we're gonna have more screws. I've already taken the liberty of peeling off. <laughs> Peel it off. I've taken the liberty of peeling off the little uh, squares that protect these screws, so it makes them more visible. We're gonna go ahead and take out the backup battery. That's just gonna preserve the settings of the Wii. It doesn't really matter because we're gonna be resetting everything. You got your button cell battery. I'm gonna leave the screw in there so I know that it's there. And it actually reveals another tri-wing screw. There is one additional screw. I'm gonna use a razor blade to remove this little foot and you can see there's another black screw hidden underneath. Nintendo, you tricky bitch. You're gonna notice on the sides here, there's these little peelable things. So again, we're going to, that's right, we're gonna peel it off. When you peel it off, there's actually a tri-wing screw underneath. Nintendo is really in love with their tri-wing. Personally, I think it's kind of annoying that they put these security things in there. They're trying to prevent you from modding it or getting into it.
Now, be careful when you remove the front because there's this little wire down here. If you break that, you will ruin your day. There is a connector here. A little bit more grip. There we go. A lot of dirt and dust in there. Now, keep in mind that I found this Wii in a dumpster, or I should say it was by the garbage. I think somebody was hoping that they would just take it off their hands because, I mean, who throws away a perfectly good Wii? This top piece comes out. Yeah, okay. So now we're gonna take the top piece off. Don't need that anymore. And hey, look, more screws. We are on the hunt for more screws. I think I saw that there was one down here. Oh, what do you know? There's like a tri-wing screw like way, way down there. You might not be able to see it, but trust me, it's there. Unfortunately, my tri-wing bit is not long enough to reach all the way down in there. So I may be hosed, guys. The next. So we are back and I went to the store to get a tri-wing screwdriver because the tri-wing screwdriver I was using before uh, was not going to work. It didn't have the long uh, shaft that it has here, phrasing. It only had the uh, tri-wing bit which would not fit recessed screws like these here. So we'll go ahead and take this out. Take the pry tool and try to get this thing apart. Feel it going. Oh, there it is. Just like very similar in design to the Wii U. You still got this exhaust fan in the back. You've got your heat sink with your processor, and you've got this fan shroud designed to direct airflow. But still very very dusty take a look i think the first thing i'm going to do is try to get this drive out it looks like it's attached i don't know if you can see it's attached like right here this screw and this screw over here so let's try to remove those first so it's starting to lift up which is good so here's something i wanted to point out to you there's also two hidden screws one here you can see that there's a hidden screw right there. There's another hidden screw right here. In order to get the drive out, we're gonna need to remove those. And I don't think these are hand tightened. These definitely feel factory tightened because they're a little tight. Okay, so we're gonna carefully move this up. Okay, it looks like it's attached by a ribbon cable here. There we go. Okay, so we got one out. That should make this one easier. This should just lift up real easily, like that. And cable comes right out. Well, let's take the rest of the drive apart anyway so that we can make sure we clear out any uh, loose junk that might be in there. So there's four screws. I'm gonna switch to a larger precision Phillips screwdriver. We're gonna go with the bigger one and let's go ahead and take these screws off. By the way, if you're uh, taking this apart for the first time, Congratulations, you've already voided your warranty. I just waited until now to tell you that. Ah, oh, wow, that's on there tight. Okay, I'm gonna need to bring out the big guns. Be right back. Okay, so I've got my DeWalt cordless drill. We're gonna be using this bit here. Uh, be careful with it, you don't wanna tighten it, so make sure it's already in the loosening. Remember, if you forget, it's righty-tighty, lefty-loosey. And this should just carefully lift right off. Ah, here's the culprit right here. There's some stuffed material in here. It is kind of dirty. Get the can of compressed air. We're gonna go ahead and blow it out. One more visual inspection before we begin putting everything back together. All right, so now that I put the system back together, we're gonna go ahead and power it on. Hi, <laughs> you can see me in the reflection. 
Well, it looks like everything is still working. I went ahead and did a factory reset to clear everything. So let's go ahead and put in a disc and see if it works. We've got Mario Kart Wii. We're gonna try this one out. disc in let's see if it reads nope there is still an error darn so we come back to the original question can he fix it not yet so i am ordering a brand new drive for this wii and i'm going to put the drive in in part two of this series and hopefully we can get this wii fixed otherwise i'm down 20 bucks and it's going back in the dumpster Thank you so much for checking out this video, and if you enjoyed it, make sure you slap that like button below and share the video. And while you're at it, why not join the Modern Nation and get subscribed by clicking on that subscribe button below. And hey, when you do, don't forget to click on the bell icon inside the button to be notified the moment that I release new videos. If you have any comments or questions, be sure to leave them for me in the comment section below, or why not hit me up on social media? I'd love to hear from you guys. And when you buy products from Amazon, consider using the affiliate links in the video description below. Thank you again so much for watching, and I will see ya.